I'm like mind blown right now. I cannot believe we're in Texas. So it's a really quick stop if Pretty you need cool. to stretch your legs out. It's really cool to see it in real life. In the <laughs> morning. We're low by morning. We did it. It's real. We're finally on the road. We're in the van. Yes. We're cruising. <laughs> it is the most surreal feeling. We've been planning for this for so long and it's just weird to like finally be out there. It's just us and the van and figuring out how things work and if something breaks we have to fix it and figuring out where to sleep at night and also all the fun we're gonna have too so it's a, a mix of like really exciting but also a little scary just because our whole life has just turned upside down yeah it's <laughs> gonna be a big adventure and i'm pumped and so nervous excited. and all of it <laughs> but we wanted to leave like a month ago but van building has its setbacks has its delays but in the end it all worked out we got to spend some time with family got to rest up a little bit make sure everything's working in the van so we're feeling really good now yeah so we wanted to feel confident when we left and i feel like we feel mostly confident now that yeah. everything nothing will break immediately at least so <laughs> It is almost Labor Day weekend, and we've been in the Texas heat for way too long building this van. 100 degrees every day. That is brutal. It's not van building weather. No. So our first goal was just to go north, get to some cooler weather. But it takes a long time to get out of Texas, especially if you're going north. So we drove eight and a half or nine hours today mm -hmm. to the Texas Panhandle, and we're going to spend the rest of today here as well as a little bit of time tomorrow. We've never really explored this area, and we finally made it to our first stop, which is Palo Duro Canyon. Palo Duro Canyon is the second largest canyon in the United States. Who knew? <laughs> I did not until we Googled it today. <laughs> Me either. So it is 120 miles long. It's 880 feet deep. It has an average width of six miles, yeah. and it can get up to 20 miles wide. Huge. I'm like mind blown right now. I cannot believe we're in Texas. So when we were driving up, it was like flat farmland. We were getting really close and you start to wonder like, did I put in the wrong place in the yeah. GPS? Like, it doesn't look like a canyon could be here. And then all of a sudden, there's a canyon. Boom, right there. And <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't feel like Texas. It feels like we're in like Arizona or Utah or something. Yeah. It is gorgeous. This is it's awesome. awesome. <laughs> Despite the fact that it is a blazing 100 degrees, we're just itching to get out of the van, see some nature, go on a hike. We brought plenty of water this time, so we're prepared. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's so hot that our camera keeps shutting off. Yeah. So we have sunscreen on, we have water. We are doing this trail called the Lighthouse Trail, which basically takes you up to this rock formation called the Lighthouse. It's 5.7 miles, not too much elevation gain. So I think we can handle it, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> This is one of the more popular hikes at Palo Duro Canyon and everyone said go really really early but we weren't here and we don't have time tomorrow so here we are late but we recommend if you want to check this out come early in the summer especially because it's really hot there's like no coverage at all but we found a shaded spot to walk in for a bit and it feels really good. This lighthouse hike is a fun little hike, but we got a little bit of a late start and it took a little bit longer than we hoped, so we're having to having to enjoy our moment here quick. Yeah, the sun is setting and we don't really want to hike back too much in the dark just because there's like maybe rattlesnakes and stuff like that. We did make a mistake though, like right, you reach this like picnic area and then you go up and we went the wrong way and it was very hard very and kind of scary, scary yeah. and I almost <laughs> cried at one point. Sorry, mom, we are here, we're okay. So now that we're up here, we'll find the correct way to go down that yes. we assume is much safer. But yeah, so we gotta get going unfortunately, but this is really cool and we're the only ones here. Yep. So I guess perks of hiking on a 100 degree day, yeah. but it feels actually nice. Oh, it's There's awesome like a breeze now. right now. Yeah, it feels really good. Perfect. So we're gonna rush down now. We gotta book it. <laughs> Ooh, we made it back safe and sound. We like half ran, half walked, like jogged, I guess almost. But it's safe to say we're gonna use the shower for the first time. I'm excited to try it out. Our cold water right now is hot, so we don't even have to use our hot water heater. I guess that's the perks of it being really hot out.
All right, we made it to our spot for the night, first van life night. So we were making some ground turkey with uh, taco seasoning in it with our favorite uh, Trader Joe's salad. If you haven't had the Southwestern chopped salad, it's the bomb. So tonight we are just staying at this like travel information center in Amarillo. We want to stay in much cooler places than this, but unfortunately there just weren't a ton of options in the area without paying. And we're trying to avoid paying for a spot as much as we can because those add up really fast. We just think about like people who are in like the really big RVs who have to park at like RV parks every night. It is, it cra it is crazy expensive. So we're doing this lifestyle for many reasons. One's to travel and explore, the other's because it's a more affordable way for us to live especially with being kind of just on like one full-time income and then one like freelance kind of income. So yeah, tonight we're at a rest stop and it's not glamorous at all, but we were hoping in the next few days we'll find some cool spots to hang out, have some nice views at the van window, but tonight this will work. It's well lit, it has good reviews, it feels safe. So this is our home. And now it's time for bed. Solid first night as van lifers. We went to bed and it was a little hot to start, but we woke up with covers on, so it was pretty comfortable all in all, but we uh, woke up early for the sunrise like we typically do for a little local adventure. So Amarillo's nicknamed the Yellow City, and that's partially possibly due to yellow wildflowers in the area, as well as yellow soil around one of the lakes nearby. And then obviously the Spanish word for yellow is Amarillo, which is spelled like Amarillo. So besides the George Strait song that I cannot get out of my head, Amarillo is known for a few other things. One is Route 66, which is right behind me back there. Another is this 72 ounce like big Texas state challenge. And then the third one is kind of weird and random. It's its art installation called Cadillac Ranch. So in 1974, this hippie art group called the Ant Farm thought, hey, let's just put like 10 Cadillacs out in this field, nose first, half buried in the ground. And I, I don't know, now <laughs> it's this really like famous thing. People started like defacing them. And so now it's like this common thing to spray paint them. There's a bunch of like spray paint bottles laying around. People are all around us spray painting yeah. whatever they want <laughs> on them. So I don't know, it's, it's just really weird, but also super famous in Texas. Yeah, it's something I've always seen on the, uh, the internet or Instagram, something like that. But being here, it kind of reminds me like it would be like in Marfa, right? It yeah, like Marfa yeah. Vibe. So when we were in Marfa, we went to this thing called Prada Marfa and it's like this Prada store, but not a real operating one in the middle of nowhere. And this is very similar in seems terms like of like it would weirdness. Be, yeah. It seems like it would right, be right next door or something. <laughs> so it's really cool to finally be here and see it. It's one of those things where you just kind of like walk out to this field, you park on the side of the highway, you walk out, snap some photos. If you want to spray paint, I guess you can. Yeah. And then, yeah, you leave. So it's a really quick stop. If Pretty you cool. need to stretch your legs <laughs> out, it's really cool to see it in real life. <laughs> So it's Friday and it's a work day for us and we want to work in the van as much as possible to avoid spending money, but we thought we'd check out a cool local coffee shop here in Amarillo today. And we're at Evocation Coffee and it's this beautiful, like bright space. They have really nice decor, tons of spots to work. Just like the overall vibe's really cool. But my favorite part is that they gave me my coffee in this beaker in my Americano and it just, the presentation was just beautiful and just took me by surprise so if you're passing through Amarillo or you're in Amarillo come check this place out the people were really nice too Searching places to eat in Amarillo, we found this place called Yellow City Street Food. I heard they had a cool vibe, and most importantly, they have tacos, which, if you're new around these parts, we love tacos. I 
So Catherine got two carnitas tacos on corn, and I got a carnitas taco and a shrimp taco. We heard also that they use a local tortilla company around here, so they're supposed to be pretty good. So they have a sign on the wall that says no salt and pepper on the tables. That's for bland restaurants, and I can confirm they do not need it because this carnitas taco is so flavorful. Sometimes carnitas can be a little on the bland side, and you have to like really spice them up with a bunch of stuff, but this one is delicious. It looks like they cook it in some sort of salsa or sauce, and this place is awesome. That place was awesome. We give it an A+. Loved it. The tacos were delicious. And like we said earlier, the vibe was really cool. But what we didn't mention is how great the service was. The guy working the counter, which we didn't get his name. And I wanted to ask, but he was busy when we left. But he was just so friendly and nice. So whoever was working Friday, August 30th. Yeah, behind the counter, you're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and back on the road we go. If you are driving through Amarillo or find yourself in this part of Texas, we highly recommend making it a little bit longer of a stop, uh, whether you need to just stretch your legs at Palo Duro or want to grab a coffee or a snack. We really enjoyed everything we did here. We definitely feel like there are some hidden gems in this part of Texas that, you know, before we came here today, we had never really explored. So it was a fun first little adventure in the van. Yeah, it's not always on the top of people's list, but definitely should not forget about yeah. it. So definitely make a stop if you're if you're close-ish. But our next stop is a state we have never been to, Wyoming. So we're excited to maybe get, a get away from a little bit of this heat. <laughs> Uh, about 20 degrees less hopefully is the high and uh, do a little hiking some exploring and just check out a place we've never been yeah so. we're gonna spend the next one to two weeks there we have a ton of fun stuff planned so let's go